Um, my name's Ado and welcome to my YouTube video on building a long wire antenna. Um, I've never done this before and um, I really got into it because I just saw a shortwave radio on Amazon that I liked and I said well I do a bit of research around it and before long um, I found out that you know to get a best, the best out of your um, shortwave radio you probably would need um, a long wire antenna and uh, a permanent one at that if you can if you can do it um, so uh, I've never done it before so I'm just going to show you what, what I'm going to do it's a pretty simple antenna um, and hopefully this will guide anyone who's looking to do this as well and um, for the first time and um, I reviewed a lot of videos on YouTube and I looked at a lot of stuff on the internet and to be honest there's a lot of guys out there um, who say they show you how to do it or offer advice but to be honest these are guys that get technical very quickly and um, start speaking to the their audience like they, they know a lot about electronics and radios and so on and um, I don't and um, but I found two guys on YouTube and uh, they have quite a large following actually and, and they're very very good and um, and they do pitch their uh, uh, information quite well to beginners um, and I'd like to say thanks to those two guys um, one is Tom Stiles um, in Florida and the other guy is Ray in Worthing in Sussex at Radio Workshop and I'll put the links for their YouTube channels um, on my own video here um, really really good calm uh, quality information easy to understand uh, so thanks guys um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, first of all uh, my plan and then the uh, bits and pieces that I'm going to use and really why I'm doing it is just to show you that you can actually do this with you know bits and bobs that you might have lying around in your shed um, and really no great expense whatsoever and um, just time okay so this is a uh, elevation drawing of my house. We actually got some uh, work done recently, so this was still lying around. So I've just kind of used it for the purposes of the video. And um, pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to run uh, the long wire from a Velux window on the roof here down to um, a pole at the end of the garden. And um, I'm actually going to utilize some of the boundary wall as well to get some extra length in uh, before uh, connecting it up to a coax cable. Um, and uh, bringing the lead back into the house. I can actually show you out the window here. <coughs> what I'm going to do is this is the roof and if you look down to the bottom left hand corner there that's where the pole is going to be and um, I'm just going to have a connector there under there somewhere I'll figure it out just to temporarily attach the long wire. Um, yeah, so back over. Uh, yeah, so pretty much, I had a lot of stuff lying around anyway. Um, I I I do build model railways, but um, I haven't got that set up at the moment. Um, because we packed it away for when, uh, the house was getting renovated. But I I collect bits and bobs because I always feel I'm going to use them later, um, at some stage. Um, so first of all, uh, the wire for the long wire antenna. This came out of like um. Uh, uh, a wire for um, an alarm for a house so there was a number of wires bound up in a cable so I just stripped one out and um, it's probably like the same gauge as speaker wire um, now you do need an isolator okay if you look at any of the videos and I actually had this just lying around um, it, I think it's a like off an Ikea cabinet or something like one of those um, parts for um, a magnet closer on a cabinet or a press as we call them here in Ireland and if you look I have it set up here and um, the wire is there that's the isolator and um, so this hole then will be connected to whatever um, I'm going to anchor it on and I'll just do that with a cable tie uh, again just so uh, to keep it um, isolated or insulated and um, I tied off the wire at the end uh, with one of these clips okay it's like a splicer um, for adding a connector in you use them in model railways um, and I found that handy just to uh, tie off the wire just to give it some security um, and actually I will use one of those um, at the other end of the wire um, because what they do is they take a little connector if I can find one this little connector here um, which looks like that uh, that will um, connect up in here um, and the reason why that's important is is that um, 
this connector will take the coax cable off the long wire itself um, and that will obviously give the shielding for the signal um, coming into the house okay so okay there are bits and bobs that I personally had lying around that everyone has this sort of stuff at home um, but these um, little pieces if you're not good at soldering or into soldering like I am I don't solder even with the model railway and I can build pretty okay ones um, if you go to an electronic store, um, I suppose if you're in the UK or Ireland, Maplins would be one of them. You can find these little um, bits and bobs in there for not for not not an awful lot of money. Um, so yeah, so the the long wire will be anchored obviously at this end, the top end, just so, and then at the other end exactly the same. Okay, um, and as I said, uh, uh, then I'll use a con this connector then to run the coax off. Um, just you know, if you're just looking at this for the first time, and um, the reason why you'd use a coax cable, and um, to bring um, your feed down from the line is to really shield the signal that you've received, and um, so there's minimal interference on it. Okay, and then at the other end of the coax cable, um, I'm just gonna use this crocodile clip. It's a bit big, but it's one I had lying around. Um, I'd attach the coax cable to it. Um. So uh, one other thing I need to show you before um, I progress on to showing you um, the antenna um, as set up is, um, I forgot, I should have done it at the start, is the pole I was talking about at the end of the garden to maintain the height of the long wire. So as the long wire leaves the top of the house, I want to keep it as high as possible um, uh, for the maximum length possible. Um, so I need a hole down the end of the garden really um, as high as I can get one anyway um, now to be honest I don't have a lot of poles lying around and I don't think a lot of people do um, I mean you could go off to the scrapyard and see if you could get one um, you'd have to transport it back it could be heavy um, or whatever and uh, I was having a chat about this actually um, uh, to my dad, I am um, actually where I got the, uh, the the wire for the long wire originally was off. My dad he had some left over from an, an alarm installation, um, and he uh, sh uh, just pointed out in, in his own shed um, uh, an extendable pole from a um, uh, uh, a paint roller. So like one of these things that extends out and has you screw in the paint roller on top, um, or a mop, and. I thought that was brilliant. Um, it, it's it's light, you know. It's a it's a very light um um metal. Uh, the other thing is is that <laughs> with this one, it's actually insulated on top already with this plastic, so you've no problems with metal contact with the wire that would, you know, affect your 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 reception or the signal that you're going to receive. Um, and it would be pretty easy to put up, and it's about two meters long. So if you put that on top of a wall which is about two meters anyway, that's four meters or in, in old money, what, 12, 12 foot, um, something like that. So that's not bad at all. Um, so what I'll do with the, the pole is, is I'll just, um, this will be the anchor point, so the base of the pole will, will, will this will go on the wall, the pole will, will rest on that so it doesn't slip down. And then I have uh, had these brackets lying around, which are, you know, plumbers, um, I don't know what the technical name for these is for, uh, you know, mounting pipes on walls or whatever, and um, so two of those, um, and because the um, the bottom of the pole is plastic, I'll just screw up into it, and that will just fix it to the bottom of that plate there, um, on this L-shaped br bracket. So, yeah. So, I mean, if you've an old, you know, extendable mop handle or paint roller handle lying around, that's your pole. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So we'll get on now and. Um, uh, show you what the uh, whole setup looks like um, as, as installed by me who has never done this before. Okay. Okay, so this is the top end of the long line up at the roof. So as you can see here, there is a an anchor point just here and um, that's secured at like tech 7 which is a really strong outdoor adhesive and I have a cable tie 
then I have that piece of plastic which is that acting as the isolator so you can see it's attached this end just by plastic and then the antenna starts at the um, the other hole it's connected in there sorry about that um, and so that isolates the long wire from this anchoring point here and you can probably see in the distance there the pole so I haven't got tension on the wire yet but that's where the pole is now I had planned on bringing the pole um, actually to the end of the wall um, on the boundary there with the field behind it but uh, yeah, my wife said it was too unsightly. <laughs> um, so I brought it back a little bit further um, in toward the house. But it gives a good height for a bit of a distance anyway, down the roof and onto the garden. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, go down, um, secure the, the wire a bit more, um, and then run it along the, the back of the boundary wall there, a lot um, going left to right and then return it back in on the right boundary wall to the end of the extension. The wire coming down from the roof from the Felix window on the roof and that's the pole I've used um, as I showed from the top just to guide the wire down and pretty much the long wire uh, comes to an end here at the wall um, at the back of the house and it follows the wall um, then to the other side of the garden and then over to this point here. The wire, um, the long wire in here, I actually made a junction box out of um, uh, an old container for screws and um, it clipped watertight which was great so I just made a hole for the long wire um, and then in there I have the connection to the coax um, and you can see the other insulator there So just for demonstration purposes then, um, so yeah, the junction between the coax and the long wire, I used um, actually a different connector than I showed at the start of the video, but it's still the same principle. Um, it's for splicing wires and again just demonstrates a, a no solder technique. Represents the long wire antenna. Um, and in this connector it would just run parallel with the coax and all you really do is um, insert both into the connector and um, there's a splice here in the middle and um, that is closed when you close the plastic cover and you just do that with the pliers and that's it no need for soldering okay so to simply ground the coax um, cable uh, what I've done here is just remove the protective sleeve and you can see the copper there is exposed and this is the wire um, that I have uh, attached to um, basically a conductor in the ground, a metal plate um, and what I'm going to do is now is going to strip this uh, the white bell wire and I'm going to wrap it around the exposed um, copper here on the uh, coax and um, then just uh, tape it up, seal it up um, and that will be the outside of the coax then grounded um, and hopefully you know once it's all tested that will reduce the um, the interference okay so I've now brought the coax cable into the house and this is the crocodile clip that we showed at the start of the video again no soldering just um, strip back the coax and um, attach the core wire um, to the crocodile connector and I'm now going to attach it to my radio so actually my radio arrived today and um, first ever uh, it's a Texan PL660 seems to be highly recommended by everybody as a starter radio and um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna start playing around with it now for a while um, and connect up the antenna and see uh, does it work, you know?
BBC Ascension Island. Without the long line. With the long line. Pretty good.